Now, if you had a billion dollars and you wanted to solve the problem of fire safety, you could conceivably, easily actually, place a fire extinguisher in every last garment plant on the planet. But even a billion dollars isn't going to solve you the wage problem. Why? Well, because wage, unlike fire extinguishers that are a physical good, wage actually represents a price. And wage, in this case, is the price of unskilled labor. And as long as the planet's supply of unskilled labor to fill up these factories is up there in the billions also, then no amount of money that you throw at this problem is going to make it go away. But what if there was a way to mitigate the problem? To avoid anything having to do with markets, to circumvent the supply chain entirely, and to do this without changing anybody's prices for what they pay for their clothes. Well, actually, the solution already exists, and it comes from very, very, very recent advances in mobile payments technology and their dissemination. So it actually is possible to get more money into the hands of these people. My name is Roger, and my company, Tip for Good, is a mobile digital payments platform that allows anyone, gives anyone, the power to do something about this. Now, while I was getting my MBA at Berkeley, I learned that one of the most effective ways to overcome poverty and generate wealth for these people is to actually just give them more income and allow them to do whatever they please with it. This concept is called the direct income transfer. And my company, Tip for Good, is just a state-of-the-art incarnation of this concept. Now, how does it work? Well, what would happen is you would buy a shirt, let's say, from one of our partner brands, and on the shirt you would see an extra paper hang tag that has our logo on it, but also a QR code. Now, if you decide that you want to thank the workers who made that shirt by paying them a gratuity, all you do is take out your phone, scan the QR code, choose your tip, and press send. That tip goes directly to the workers at the plant who made that garment. Now, what this does is it gives us a digital, end-to-end, -end secure platform with ironclad traceability and transparency. Not only that, but we also get millions of touch points because we engage the consumers right on each garment. And as we scale up and get several big brands on there, it's a lot of garments. We do owe a debt of gratitude, though, to organizations like the Better Than Cash Alliance that's funded by the UN and the uh, Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation that have started a tidal wave of financial inclusion all over the world that's bringing financial services and banking to millions, well now billions again, of people that never had these services before doing it mostly through digital wallets on their phones. We also have to thank companies, fashion brands like Gap, who have succeeded in digitizing 100% of their factories' payrolls. Without their efforts, this platform wouldn't be possible. And just a little thought. For every dollar of value sold by a garment, the worker actually only perceives half a cent. So, in case you're wondering whether these things, whether these contributions can make a difference, can have a real impact, yes, they can. And it's precisely the impact that millennials and sustainably oriented consumers are clamoring to make, especially in fashion. So, I'm happy to announce that we've managed to sign our first brand, 
to do our initial pilot program. That's going to test the part of uh, the the upstream part of the platform, which is the tag and the payment of the tips. And uh, in about three to four months, we should be moving on to testing the downstream portion, which is the traceability and paying out the tips to the right workers at the right plant. After that, we should have proof of concept, so we'll be able to get some traction with larger brands, scale up the platform, and also achieve economies of scale. And uh, don't remember. That's it. <laughs> no. Anyways, these are my favorite sandals. I'm actually wearing them right now. They were the last ones to roll out of my grandfather's plant. I love them not only because they're comfortable, but also because of what they mean to me, what they mean to my family, and what they mean to my country. Now, I firmly believe that the day will come, and it probably is already here, when so humanity will avail itself of advances in technology not only to generate riches, but also to simply give them away to the people that need them most, no matter where on earth they happen to be. So why not start now, now that we finally can? Tip for good. <laughs>